Welcome to Master Mathematics in Minutes. Today's topic is about the perimeter of a parallelogram and rhombus, and we'll cover a couple of examples on how to calculate the perimeter of a parallelogram, as well as the perimeter of a rhombus, and we'll conclude the topic with a summary. And finally, be kind and subscribe for more videos. So, what is the perimeter of a parallelogram and rhombus? The perimeter of a parallelogram or rhombus is the sum of all sides, length and breadth. We'll have a look at this visually. Here is a parallelogram. It has two pairs of parallel sides. The first pair is this lined and this lined, and they're both parallel. And the second pair is this lined and this lined, and they're both parallel as well. So a parallelogram has length L and breadth B. And so the perimeter P is given by L plus B plus L plus B, or 2L plus 2B. And that simplifies to 2 into L plus B. So here is a rhombus. A rhombus is a special case of a parallelogram where all the sides are equal. And we've denoted these as S on all four equal sides. And so the perimeter P is equals S plus S plus S plus S, or four times S. In the first example, we're asked to calculate the perimeter of the parallelogram below. So we have length of eight centimeters and breadth of two centimeters. And so the perimeter P is equals eight plus two plus eight plus two, or two times eight plus two times two. And that simplifies to two into eight plus two, and that is 20 centimeters. In the second example, we're given the perimeter of a parallelogram is 34 centimeters. And we're also given the length is 10 centimeters. And we're asked to calculate the breadth of the parallelogram. And so we have perimeter P is equal to 2 into L plus B. And we'll set that to be equal to 34, which is given from above. And we'll substitute length, which is that L, with 10 centimeters, and that is 10. And we'll copy 10 and plus B down, we'll copy 34 as well, and we'll bring the two to the right-hand side, and that becomes divided by two. And we'll solve for B, which is 34 over two, and we'll carry the 10 to the right-hand side, that becomes minus 10. And that simplifies to B is equal to seven centimeters. So visually, we have the parallelogram of length 10 centimeters, which is given from the question, and breadth 7 centimeters, which is what we've calculated. In a third example, we're asked to calculate the perimeter of the rhombus below. So this is a rhombus of sides 5 centimeters. And so the perimeter P is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 or four times five, and that equals to 20 centimeters. In the fourth example, we're given the perimeter of a rhombus is 200 centimeters, and we're asked to calculate the length of each side. And so we have perimeter P is equals to four times S, and that is equals to 200, and solving for S with 200 divided by four, and that simplifies S is equal to 50 centimeters. And visually, we have a rhombus of sides 50 centimeters, and the sum of all four sides is 200 centimeters. To summarize, the perimeter of a parallelogram or rhombus is the sum of all sides, length and breadth. And for a parallelogram, we have perimeter equals P equals L plus B plus L plus B, or two times L plus two times B, or two into L plus B. 
and for rhombus with parameter p is equals s plus s plus s plus s or 4 times s. Thank you very much for watching. This is Master Mathematics in Minutes.